So talking about that HF paper uh, or just fluoride test paper, right? Uh, I kind of gave you a little bit on that the other day. Uh, this is the pack that it comes in, right? And there's 200 of them in here. So there's no reason, and these things are like $20 a pack. It's very cheap to use. Um, they're very good for finding that low level F2, uh, or we're looking for like hydrofluoric acid, right? That's some pretty bad stuff, and we want to know that right away. Um, you could take one dry, take one wet. Uh, you can wet it with just plain uh, deionized water, or you can use some uh, HCl, right? So, um, to help make this a little more sensitive, right? So we can tape it to our arm, right? So you get your pH paper, your F paper, and I'm gonna go through a whole host of papers before this is all over with, right? But uh, if you're starting to get that acidic content on the pH, the next thing you need to be starting to look for is this. You need to look for that gas in the air. Um, that big thing about HF, it, it's highly corrosive, right? It's gonna ruin whatever it comes in contact with. It's got, you know, it's metal, ferrous, whatever, uh, it's going to ruin your skin. Um, the problem is, is that delayed onset, right? Uh, so it's going to affect you later. And uh, we really need to know how much, if any, is in the air. And these are a wonderful tool that's not going to fail you.